Hey everyone, another tutorial for everyone and it's an updated one. Um, I want to do this because I'm getting quite a lot of messages about coding and without being horrible I just don't have the time currently right now to go through everyone or everyone's message and explain how to do coding. Um, so this is just going to be basic how you learn how to do divs um, and then you can you can learn div effects after that. So you, I'm going to give you my base code for this and this is a free base code. It's not my actual base code that you can buy off pay it. It is just a free base code. Um, and this is just what, what I'm going to use. So we're going to make some boxes and this is just going to have to show you and as slow and as in depth as I can possibly do. Um, yeah, without making it too complicated. So I'm going to give you these base codes. Um, they're going to be a bit more simplified than this, but I will be giving you some base codes. Uh, let's just get rid of all of that. So it's literally just going to have your, your basic codes, your basic font codes, your height codes. That is literally it. I'm not going to include anything else. This is just it. So for the first box, you basically want to find where you're, where you're starting at. Um, so always, oh, I'm just going to show you, but this is a div style code uh, or a div CSS code for div styles. This is going to be a div class. So this one is div class, that is div ID. So I'm not going to go into too much depth. We're just going to be using div um, class codes. So you're just going to name whatever the box you want it to be. In this case, I'm literally just going to name it box one just to, just to show you. Um, for this, just make your top um, 10 your left always use left code never use right or bottom unless you're doing that sort of codes just for basics keep it left uh let's make that 100 position is always going to be absolute in a div code just because that's my preference um height let's just say 200 and a width of 200 you're then going to put a background color and let's just make it white close bracket that is your div code that's how you make a bit a basic div code in like to me you put div class equals the box net or the div class name which in this case is box one close div click save open that is where your box is so that is box one if you need to you can go in and name it box one so you can see what that box is so in theory because there is a um an option to have a header bar I am going to move this down, but this is just to show you. So in this case, let's just make it 100 left and 100 front top. So it's here. That's perfectly fine. So that is box one. If I then want to make a box next to it, so I want a box, say like this here, maybe of that width as well. So 500 by 200. If I want a box there, I can copy this code, then write box two, paste the codes, and this is where you can use a calculator. There's no reason why you can't use a calculator to get the position of where I want it. Because if I just copied it and left it the same, it's just going to overlap. It's just going to be like on top of it. We want to make it right of that box, and we need to have a little gap in the middle. So what you need to do is where this starts... So in our case, left of 100, we need to add the left of 100 of the box width. So in this case, we are adding 100 plus the width of 200, which gives you our base start. So that is 300, but that would literally be on top of it. So you would have no gap between. If you want that, fine, go ahead. If you don't, you just want to add 5 to that. And when I say 5, that will be 5 pixels to the right of it. So that will give you 305 put that left code as 305 then copy and paste that type box 2 2 click save refresh there is box 2 I've left it the same width and height but we can now go back into that and change that and make it leave the height the same let's make that 400 width save that's how you get your second box I can go then go back in again and say I want a box to the right of that as well. I can literally copy box number two and do exactly the same. Box three, paste. This time we're adding from these settings. So left of 305, we're going to keep that. We're then going to add our um, width of 400. 
and then we're going to add five to that for the space in between. So in the next box needs to be 710 left. So 710 left, copy again and paste that, change the numbers to three, click save. Refresh, there is box three. I've kept it the same size, but this is where you can go back in and you can adjust your sizings. But I would do it when you, not like now when you need to change them now. So say I want to change box two now, that complicates things. Just change the box you've last saved, if that makes sense. So this one, I want to change the width. This one, let's make it again 200 by 200. Click save. There is my box of 200 by 200. I then want to put a box underneath. Let's say I want this size box underneath. So in theory, we already know the left code because of box one. So in theory, we can copy box one's codes. So we're going to copy box one. We're going to go down here. And just for the sake of this, I'm going to go second box. Mm, do I? Let's just go box four, just to make things easier. <laughs> Click paste. So that is the same left position. It is going to start here. All we need to change is the top. Same principle, you take the top code. In our case, our top code is 100. We're then going to add that to the height of that box, which we know is 200. So that will be 300 plus the five of the space in, so 305 pixels. We can then copy this and type in box four, box four. I did say I wanted it wider, so we can do that now. We can then change the width to say 400, click save. There is your box below. Let's say I want the exactly same size box or a different size box on this one. I wanna make them two big boxes. Again, exactly the same as all the other ones, but this time we can copy box four, name it box five, click save, go to our calculator, we're gonna clear this code because we don't need it. So we're gonna change the left code now because we want it on the right. So we take the left code, which is 100, we take the width of this box, 400, and then we add the five pixel space in, which makes it 505 on the left. We can then copy and paste this one and type in box five. Click save. Refresh. There is your box. As you can see, it is ever so slightly out of line, which is fine. We can adjust that. Just go back into your codes, find box five. Just change the width. Probably just needs about five pixels. Click save. Refresh. There you go. And the same principle can keep going on and on and on. So if you want to add a new layer underneath or a new like box underneath, you always add to the top code. If you want to add a box to the right of an image, always do the left code. If you're doing a box to the right, you add the width of the box to the left code, if that makes sense. So always your number of your left code, in our case was 100, you add the width of that box to give you the next box position. If you're doing a, a box underneath, you need to add the top code to the height of the box to give your next position. I always say leave about five pixels, but if you're adding on a border, you may need to go bigger for that. But that is essentially a div layout. You can then go in and customize it how you like. Let's just say I want box two an image you can then put an image code in. I don't know the width of that, so let's just type in, bo or find box two rather, not type in. In this case, we can see here it is 200, uh, 400 by 200. Let's say I want box four an image. We can literally just copy that, go to box four, check the, the width and the height, 400 by 200, that's fine. Let's say I want box three as a link box. We can literally just type in link codes. I don't have any fancy ones, so we can literally just do something basic. We can add codes in like so. If we then go to box one and I want that text, I can literally just copy all my text that I want in that box and the same for that box. Refresh, there's your images, there's 
your links, there's your text. To then make it a little bit more fancy, you can go back into the codes, say box one, and put an overflow in at auto. This means you'll automatically get a scroll. So then I can literally just copy all this text, just keep replacing it, click save, click thingy, and it'll automatically give me a box scroll. This is literally all you need to make a layout, a basic layout. You don't need to learn nothing fancy. This is just to understand where placements are at and how to make a layout. If you do have any questions, please do let me know. I try to simplify these as much as I can. Um, it does take time to learn coding. It's not an instant thing. As always, my inbox is open, but please note that I've got so much to do right now online, such as Creativian, uh, Midnight Society, and other sites, I need to do stuff. Um, any other tutorials you want to be interested in, then do check out Creative and Academy. I do try and upload as much as I can. But any questions, do let me know or hit me up on Discord. Thank you for watching.